In this problem, we're looking at some kind of a plant. If we plant the seed, then it has an 80% chance of growing to a healthy plant. Of course, that would mean that there's a 20% chance that it would not grow to a healthy plant. If we plant 12 of those seeds, what's the probability that exactly one doesn't grow, does not grow? So let's think about planting the first of the 12 seeds. It's got an 80% chance of growing and a 20% chance of not growing. So consider the tree diagram that would be produced by considering all 12 of these plants and whether they grow or not. If the first seed grew and the second seed grew, then this second seed still has an 80% chance of growing and a 20% chance of not growing. On the other hand, if the first seed does not grow, then the second seed still has an 80% chance of growing and a 20% and a chance of not growing. We could continue that tree on. Think about the next branches. We'd consider every single possibility of the seeds in order of growing and not or not growing at uh, that would be a very very large tree diagram but notice that that really ma matches our metaphor of a of guessing answers on a true and false test so this is in fact a binomial distribution we know the formula for calculating probabilities in a binomial probability distribution Suppose, for example, that we wanted to know the probability that exactly 10 of them grow. Then x would be 10, n would be 12, and the probability of growing would be 0.8. Now what we're interested in knowing is what the probability is that exactly one of them does not grow. That means that exactly 11 of them do grow. The nice thing is, this probability formula, although we could work it out by hand, the function in R that calculates the probability of a binomial distribution, that calculates this formula, is called the d-binome function. It takes an x value, the n value, and the p value. We want the x value to be 11 because we're interested in knowing the probability that exactly one does not grow, that means that 11, exactly 11 would grow. Of course, n is equal to 12 because that's the size of the sample. We're going to be looking at, at uh, 12 seeds. And our probability of growth is 80%. So now let's run that script. Now we could have got the same result in one line. We just could have said, look at the d binome of 11 comma 12 comma 0 0.8 but it's nice to explain to myself and to a reader what each of those variables are um, and so doing this annotation is is kind of helpful notice that the probability of exactly 11 seeds growing is going to be about 20.6 percent or close to 21 percent that means that that's the probability that exactly one seed does not grow. Now, what was important in this particular problem? We needed to first recognize that it really was a binomial problem. We, of course, know the formula for calculating a binomial probability. So, but we also know that R has a command, d binome, that calculates the binomial probability. Then there was another piece of, in this particular problem, they were asking for the probability that exactly one seed did not grow. What we could calculate is the probability that a certain number of seeds did grow. Exactly 11 seeds growing means that exactly one seed did not grow. Okay, easy peasy when you use R.